Well, one of the leaders of getting people into Congress for the last eight months has been the co-founder of Code Pink Women for Peace, Medea Benjamin. Go get him, Medea. Thank you. So let me see a show of hands. How many of you would like to see negotiations to end the war in Ukraine? Well, guess what? You would not be welcomed by NATO. In fact, how many of you, you know who Viktor Orban is? A not very, like, super democratic leader of Hungary. In fact, quite authoritarian, good friend of Donald Trump. But guess what? He decided, he's the uh, head of a rotating council of the European Union, and he decided that he was going to try to do something to get the sides together. So he went to Ukraine and talked to Zelensky. Fine, right? But then he did the unthinkable. He went to Russia to talk to Putin, and all hell broke loose. In fact, in Politico yesterday, they said leaders from the north, south, east, and west of the European continent savaged him for going to Moscow to talk to Putin. That is because NATO does not want to see an end to the war. In fact, the war gave NATO a new lease on life. The war actually pushed the NATO countries in Europe to spend 18% more on the military than they were doing before the Russian invasion. The war in NATO allowed U.S. presidents, whether it's Donald Trump or Biden, to push that more of the NATO countries spend the 2% of their GDP on the military. So now of the 32 countries, 23 of them are now spending over 2% on the military. Now where do you think that money comes from? It comes from us, and in Europe it comes from what is left of a safety net there. The universal health care system that is now in tatters in many European countries. The free education through college that is now in tatters in many European countries. Because the U.S. and NATO want Europe to be like the U.S., spending more and more of the people's money on the military. And we say no! That's why we say no to NATO. I also want to ask you, what is the richest county in the United States? Anybody know? All right, what state is it in? Virginia, right. Loudoun County, Fairfax County. These are the richest counties in the entire United States. Where does that money come from? The Pentagon. That is coming from the Pentagon. And so I think we could think of NATO as a gigantic money laundering scheme to get more and more money from the people, from us and from our European brothers and sisters, to go into military. In fact, Europe, the, uh, the head of NATO, the Secretary General, is bragging that... NATO allies in Europe are going to spend $120 billion more on U.S. weapons. And I want to end by telling you what the NATO Secretary General, Jen Stoltenberg, did recently, which is he went to a production facility of Lockheed Martin. Boo! Let's hear the boos for Lockheed Martin. Lockheed Martin, the company that's making the F-16s, the F-35s, the C-130s that are bombing people in Gaza every single day, the Hellfire missiles that are bombing people in Gaza every single day. And he went to this facility, and he said, this unelected leader went and said, what you do in this facility every day makes NATO stronger and the world safer. This unelected leader said, on behalf of the one billion people across NATO allied countries in Europe and North America, thank you for everything you do. 
So this is the head of NATO acting as if he has the right on our behalf to thank the weapons manufacturers for providing these weapons that are killing our friends, our colleagues, our brothers and sisters in Gaza and are keeping the war in Ukraine going. And then he also said, from Arizona to Virginia, Florida to Washington State and right here in Alabama, that's where he was, American jobs depend on American sales to Europe and Canada. What you produce keeps us safe. What the Allies buy helps us keep America strong. So this is the money laundering scheme that is NATO that we say absolutely no to. And those of you who live here in the United States, we have a couple of things coming up where you can show your opposition to the money laundering scheme that both the Democrats and the Republicans buy into. One is coming up very soon, the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. Boo! The other one coming up after that, the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Boo! They don't even know who their presidential candidate will be. And one thing right here in Washington, D.C., that we have to come out to in full force is Benjamin Netanyahu's visit to a joint session of Congress on July 24th. So raise your hand if you're going to join us to give him the unwelcome he deserves in Washington, D.C. We need you to tell your friends, to tell your colleagues, everybody come out to say no to NATO, no to Benjamin Netanyahu, and yes to peace. So I just want to end by saying no to NATO and free Palestine. Free Palestine. Free Palestine.